Hello everybody and welcome to another exciting episode of the Grab Bag Return to Dungeon Legacy with myself and M. I'll let you say hi now. Hello, glad to see you all again. Yeah, everybody in YouTube land, our first three episodes went swimmingly, a little sinkingly, but then also a little okay again. We're, we're actually doing all right victory-wise, which is kind of like the best you can hope for in Dunwich sometimes. We do have Professor Armitage on our side, and that is an Awakened Mantle that's currently in my deck. You might be thinking, how the heck does that work? Well, uh, because in this Grab Bag Challenge, we replace all victory enemies and all story assets earned with random victory enemies of the same level and also of uh, story assets of not even the same type, just story assets. And we are here on Scenario 4, which is the Essex County Express, everybody's favorite train scenario in the Arkham Horror. Where, where there's smoke, Agenda 0A. As the train to Dunwich comes to a jarring stop, you look out the window behind you and see an immense tear in the sky like a, rip of, a piece of cloth. From this tear, a winged beast emerges. It lets out a painful screech and descends upon the train. Two Doom advances, and we're going to want to move on that pretty quick. And then we have Run. The train has stopped over a bridge, on a bridge high above the Miskatonic River. You might be able to survive the fall, but you don't like your chances. Your best bet is to make your way to the engine car as fast as you can and get the train running again. Uh, objective, if one of us enters the engine car, we immediately advance. Get to the front of the train as fast as possible. Yeah. Uh, and hopefully that gets us back in time to rescue our many friends that we don't really know about yet. <laughs> That is the hope. I have a Studious now, so I will have six cards in my opening mulligan. So I'm just going to start resolving that. Oh my. Uh, yeah, I'm doing my five as well. <clears throat> hmm. This current is good. I, I guess I just don't get greedy and we just go like this, right? Yeah, let's see here. I'm looking for weapons, so I probably need to cut most of this. I could have kept the Dr. Milan chat, but I was hoping to maybe find a backpack. But, I mean, this is a really good opening hand. We can play two of the books. Probably going to put this down so we can get more juice going. Oh, uh, I'm still going to actually update my deck to not have that uh, weakness. This overzealous is the one that applies uh, curses. <laughs> yeah, five curses, right? Yep. All right. I just keep forgetting when I'm doing upgrades to change it to say that it is that one. <laughs> nice. Uh, but I do have nice sorts to start. So that's sure. Okay. Why don't you start us off? Because I'm just going to be playing a bunch of assets for my hand. Okay. Um. Yeah. I don't think I have too much to go with at the moment, but we'll see. Let's see. So, uh, let's take a quick look at my directives. Make sure I've got the right ones. Oh yeah, we got fast assets. That's a whole thing. Cool. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and start with the Great Wagner. Very nice. I'll get my fight up to five. Um, unfortunately, my investigate is pretty miserable, but we might actually try to grab a clue. Oh, yeah, let's do it. We'll fast burning in midnight oil and commit uh, cryptic writings. So that'll be five, five against them. Four. I'm going to give you this other one just so you beat the minus two on the cultist. Oh, it's minus two to the nearest cultist. Never mind. I'm going to keep it in my hand. Okay. Yeah. Because there's no um, enemies. Yeah, because that's just it's just the lose all remaining actions one that I don't want to fail. Yeah. So, uh, uh, you're five right. to four. Yep. Hey, very oh, nice, hey. very yep. nice. So I pick up a clue, uh, and that's pretty efficient because I get to uh, discover. Oh no, never mind. I was thinking I'd get to draw a card there, but no. Nope. <laughs> ah, yeah. uh, okay, so we've taken an action. We've played a fast card. Uh, I can't play any more cards this round, and I believe I just draw two cards. Or I'll draw a card and... Yeah, no, draw two cards. Oh, Curse is in the deck. <laughs> Did you... Because you played the... This was fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I played that, and I played Greet. I think Ace of Swords comes into play before the round starts, correct? Yeah, that's when the game begins. Yep. Okay, yeah. so I think we're good. All right. Well, I'm going to drop down... A dream Diary. We're going to drop down an Eon Chart. We're going to play a Scroll of Secrets. And that is it for my hand slots, so we're good to go to Upkeep. Alright. Uh, resource and a card. That's a pretty cool, good cool, draw. Cool. It's a pretty good draw. Alright, one of two evil card over here for me is 
Oh, I must draw. I'm going to draw two cards. How does that sound? Because I think I don't want to summon a boss. So I'm just going to draw two an cards. Exciting one. All right, give it a shot. Well, I guess I have three brain currently. Uh, Location to your right or our location. Okay. If there is no location to your right. Yeah. So that is a victory one. So let's see who this guy actually is. Mm -hmm. Do we want to keep the spawn location? That's interesting. It's got story, important stuff, but yeah. It's the Serpent of Yoth. All right. And it just spawns on you? Just spawns on me. Oh, that's exciting. All right. Uh, let's see. What have I got? Oh, no, that's not my second card. Because mine was draw two cards, and that was my first one. Oh, yeah. Okay, got it. So, help us passenger into playing your location to your left or location if you cannot. Uh, take control of him. If you least play, each investigator takes a horror. And then he surges into a cultist. Okay. Alright, what All right. do you got? And then mine is need for knowledge. If you have no clues, you gain surge. Uh, I do have clues. Uh, so, I have to test X book, which is one book. Um, and I am three against one. Nice. Nice. Okay. We're good. Cool. <clears throat> but hey, it didn't surge, which is probably good for us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but yeah, we have a very big monster on us very early on. Yeah. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, it doesn't have uh, all of the nasty things that it would normally have. So that's something. Yeah, this is just a 3-5-3. Three, three. That's not too bad. <laughs> uh, okay. So how do we want to proceed here? Like, you're still pretty bad at evading, right? I mean, I, I, I have a, I'm going to get an essence of the dream. I was hoping to use it to grab a clue and get out of here, so I'm hoping maybe you have something to deal with the enemy. Uh, let's see. I'll try fast prepared for the worst and see if I can pick up a gun. Search the top nine. Uh, we do have a gun. Nice. It isn't my favorite used gun, but it's still a gun. So we'll play that as our first action of the round. Do you have the cash for it? Um, Oh, nope. <laughs> Fair point. I am I'm still short on the money. Let's see, we've got two left. Yeah. Okay. So uh I mean I can gain two resources and be ready to play it next round, or I can gain a resource and be ready to play it next round, but yeah, that is unfortunate. Um I could engage it off of you at the very least and soak a little bit. Yeah, the only downside is that we're going to be getting the boss monster too, so it's probably better if you have uh two actions left. Yeah, two actions left. Um or, yeah. Let's see here. I mean, if oh, you no, can like get the clue and get out of here, we might just have to like leave this monster alone. Uh yeah, let's see here. So I'd have to... F the other option is that I'm stuck fighting the boss monster. I actually have three actions, because I prepared for the worst fast, so... Nice, okay, that's that's, okay. that's that's doable. So I could gain resource, gain resource, play the automatic, and just sort of be ready to fight a bunch of dudes at the end of the next round. Yeah, we also could try to just get ahead and just leave this guy here, because he's just going to stay here if we can get rid of him. Okay, uh, well, I did my thing fast, so... It Technically, doesn't have to be my turn yet. If you want to go next, uh, let's see here. Oh, that's the wrong one. This one. Tactics are fast. Um, but yeah, I could just. No, I think I think yeah. Stuff. You just you just try to grab the clue. I can help you a bit if you can boost yourself up. Uh, yeah, I don't have any books left. Um, I spent them on the previous investigate. Yeah, and then just grab the guy, and then I'm going to just move ahead, and hopefully you can catch up. I think that's just the reality of the situation. Okay. Hmm. I mean, like, because I, I want to get out of here. I, I want to get ahead of this boss, because I, I need to get us clues and keep us moving, so. Yep. Yeah, if I grab hold of it, I can't play my automatic without taking a pretty significant amount of damage, but... I'll just try to evade it then. I'll just try and evade it. You just play your gun. Okay. Gain your resources, play my gun, and then we'll be better off to go next round. All right. I'm going to get the essence of the dream. I'm going to try to evade this guy at 6 2 3. 4 to 3. Minus 0. I've evaded him. Okay, cool. And that's one curse out. Yes. All right. I'm going to scroll of secrets at the bottom of my deck. 
Yeah, I'll take that into my hand. Okay. Four Shroud's not great, but I am going to... Huh. <sighs> I think I'm just going to try to burn the Midnight Oil. Okay. So we're going to go five to four, and I'm going to go six to four with this other burning the Midnight Oil. Love it. Nice. We'll grab the clue. Okay. So I have one action remaining. And I think I want to say next turn I can probably deal with this Acolyte. Oh, he's going to lose his Doom too, too. So he's going to become a lot less threatening. I can probably deal with the Acolyte myself with my okay. Dream Diary if things go well. So we're going to dig four with the backpack. We're going to look at the top 12. Yeah. I think we want you for sure. No book bag, which kind of sucks. And this is item. Well, it could be anything, so it could be this. Yeah, I mean, I'll take that. And I suppose give me this as well. No. I'm going to take that one. All right. Shuffle that up. Put these on top. And then we can go upkeep. Okay. Resource in a card. Give me something good. Uh, it's fine. <clears throat> that confused the hell out of me. All right. I'm going to be basically just shooting enemies, I think, the next two turns, but... All right, so this guy's a leftmost yeah. location. and Hunter and Massive always def uh, when uh, he's defeated, attached to the current agenda. After you advance the attached agenda, draw the conductor. When it leaves play, instead of discarding it, move him one location to the right. So this guy's Hunter and Massive. Okay. Yep. Got it. All right, and then I get my oh, this doom's gone on this guy, and then this gets That's sucked it. up in two turns. Yep. Where's the serpent at? Uh, I give him back to you. Ah, got him. Cool. Oh no, it's going to destroy, blow up next turn. Oh, that's not good. What's your evil card? Uh, okay, uh, mine is... Ah, the doorway. doorway. Okay. Let's see here. I mean, hmm. So we've got two guys. This guy's got Hunter. And he's just going to come back immediately next round. Mm -hmm. I can try to invade him. To... Yeah, well, let's see here. I mean, it's easier for me to kill him than it is for me to kill the five health enemy. This guy's coming back next turn, though, so it's kind of the same result if you kill him or if you don't. Yeah. Uh, which means, but, well, yeah, okay. Um, if you want to go first and try to evade, then we can scoot out of here at least and try to do some stuff. Like, yeah, because I, I, I have to move uh, or else we're going to lose the car and me on it. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to look at the bottom of your deck to see if maybe it'll help us. Uh, I'll give it to you anyway, just because it doesn't hurt to have. Oh, see. Yeah, number hurts to have a gun. Oh, there not go. sure why that didn't. Cool. And... Then I'll get this into my hand. This essence of the dream. We're going to try to evade this guy. We have six to the game's three. Okay. That's bad. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to take an attack of opportunity probably to get out of here. I mean, I could try to evade him again. Mm, might as well give it a second shot, I guess. Yeah, but the problem is I'm going two to three. So I think we're, I think we're just going to die, to be honest. I think it's already over. Mm, let's see here. So he moves the attacks. He's got massive... Watch that one. Passengers dealing horror to us. Okay. 
I've got a reasonable amount of soak for a while, so it's not the end of the world if we're just uh, like if I'm just killing the conductor and then moving. Mm -hmm. um, it's just you know like we're in similar situations next round. Yes. Um, yeah, if you can evade him again, that would definitely help. Because yeah, I'm, but I'm testing two to energy. two to um, two to three, so I don't think it's ah. worth it. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Because I'm not built. Uh, my deck was my my deck's not here to really handle enemies. I'm here to just grab some clue the clueies. Yeah, I'm I'm good at handling enemies, just not on the first turn when there's two elites, <laughs> or like I guess it's two. Yeah, <laughs> it just takes a sec. Um. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, I have two actions left. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take an attack to move up here. Okay. No, I think that I'm dead. I, I die, actually. There's nothing I can do. I'm dead. Unless you can kill the, the guy. So it's depending on if you're able to kill the conductor. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's definitely gonna happen. Find a grappling draw. horror and draw it. Unless I draw some auto fails, then that's, you know. <laughs> oh, wow. Just just the funnest pile of monsters. Cool. Yeah, no, I think I'm dead. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, you take two and then you take another two. <sighs> yeah. That's right. I'll try to evade so the um, uh, grappling horror at two all. Nope. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's see here. If I scoot up, then the grappling horror kills you. But that's or the, not the grappling horror. The conductor kills you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I, I guess I'll the middle top three. Move. Yeah, I can kill the conductor and move, but that doesn't help because the grappling horror still kills you. And then I'm dealing with the serpent, but I have to kill the. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. It's a. Uh... Far from ideal. I could. There's no clues in this location, so I can't even like draw cards off killing monsters. Yeah, I'm not seeing a way out of this. Uh, apart from maybe. Now, I can't evade the grappling horror because I have to engage it first. Um, yeah, I mean, I can shoot the conductor seven against three twice and then move, but then I just don't have the means to protect you from the grappling horror as well as the other things. Yeah. That's that's frustrating. Uh, I, I guess I'll kill the conductor because we... Oh, actually, I guess I'll kill the serpent from Yoth since that's worth a victory point. Yeah, that is true. We can walk away with a victory. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, so, seven against three. Bop. Good. Uh, seven against three. Bop. Good. Uh, one more seven against three. Uh, curse Minus. into a skull, which is still good. Yeah. Okay, so at least we get that victory point. Yeah, we um, get one victory point. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. Is there anything else that I could do? No, unfortunately. Uh, right. I could use Greet to discover clues, but I don't have any clues, so yeah, it's a... Uh... Right. I am defeated. Yep. And then I think I'm not... No, I just take some damage and then fall off the train. So. Yeah, no, you'll, you'll live till the thing which will... Uh, remove it from the game, and then you're defeated. <laughs> I don't think you take trauma, though, because it doesn't say. So let's just check to see. Uh, yeah, no, I think falling off the train just gives you the weakness is the main thing. I think so, yeah. All right. No one's left. Uh, each investigator is defeated. Must add a law across time and space weakness to their deck. And we earn one bonus experience. And they kidnap uh -huh. Dr. Henry Armitage. Ah, yes. Dear Mantle. And we were delayed on our way to Dunwich. Alright. 
Okay, so, well, that's 2 XP to mark at least. It's not enough to, like, get some major upgrades, but I can at least get yeah, started on things. Could buy something, maybe. Yep. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah, that was just a, a pretty rough encounter draw, I think. Like, uh, the, the card off the top is just, like, yeah, it's a bunch. Or, like, yeah, Resurgent Evils is just a generally nasty card. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, like maybe in in uh, retrospect, it would have been better to just. I mean, we would have had the enemy anyway, but. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, no, it's just uh, the and then like, uh, only like having it done not on first the first turn also just like it puts us behind when we do get a bad draw like that. It was just it was just a bad a perfect storm of bad bad times. Yeah, I think I think if uh, I think the grappling horror was kind of the last last straw there. Like it was just it was just too much damage and too many monsters. But uh, just nine health of enemies in the first two rounds is a little tricky. Yeah, for um, sure. Yeah, but that's All kind right. of also what we expect when we do the grab bag because Norm that guy actually would have entered play exhausted and we could have just ignored him if things went otherwise. Yeah. But because it was a non-exhausted enemy because of the grab bag, it did make it notably more tricky. Yeah. Yeah. That uh, that is true. All right. All right. Well, I'm gonna Fair say enough. huge thank you. I hope you enjoyed this Essex County Express Express speed run where we <laughs> win in 20 minutes or less, or you get your pizza for free. That's a that's a PBG guarantee thank you so much for watching um there is not ep the episode three was on your channel which you can find a link in the description if you are you know for some reason seen it at the end of this but next week there will be episode five up on m's channel and episode six up uh, on this one where hopefully i mean i can't imagine it being worse <laughs> I, th I think we got this i think we're gonna win blood on the altar and we're gonna win undimension and unseen so uh yeah undimension unseen is gonna be a wild one we'll see how it goes yeah if i get books out my brain hits eight so we just gotta hope for a good mulligan on my part because i can get All a right, bunch yeah. of books and just kill oh. enemies oh thank yeah you're gonna be so good at fighting those that's gonna be fun. yeah yeah thank you so much for watching have a good one and as always a ggs ggs